Look at that. In the morning. I love getting up early in the morning. I don't know why anybody wants to sleep in till 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That just don't make no sense to me. Get up early in the morning. Our sun come up. It's nice, actually. It's quiet. Hello, YouTube. This is one of the reasons I like getting up early in the morning. It's quiet. You know, you get to hear the birds tweet, whatever else. But also, it's a time of reflection. I get some long time, and I'm able to think about the previous day's events and think about what I'm going to do the next day. What I have been thinking about lately, though, is all the nonsense that's been going on, and I'll just give my take on some of it. Uh, one of the things that really has just been pissing me off to no end is, you know, I like to watch these, what people call trash TV, you know, I like to watch, you know, the baby daddy and all that stuff, you know, especially when these little girls, and I'm going to call them little girls because most of them act like they 12, you know, they don't, they don't act like grown women at all, but they're just, they get on TV and they froth at the mouth and they jump up and down and they scream, and this is the funniest part is nobody seems to think that this woman is disgusting or this woman is a hoe or anything. She's got like two or three guys on there and she's jumping up and down and saying like how they need to man up and how they need to take care of their responsibility. Now, first of all, I don't feel sorry for people like that. Let's just get that straight. I don't feel sorry for people like that at all because there is a very simple way for them not to be in that situation. Okay, there's these things they sell at the drugstore. They come in package about that big. They're called condoms. You know, and they're cheap. I mean, anybody can get them. It's not like back in the day where you had to be married or you had to be 18 or 21 to buy them. Anybody can go into these places and buy that now. There's also birth control. And I don't want to hear women can't afford birth control because birth control is also cheap. The little round disc things that they take the pill every day or whatever. It's like like 7 or $10 for the whole month. So if you can't afford $10 a month, then just don't have sex at all. But anyway, they get up, they jump up and down, they scream and holler. You know, my favorite is like when none of the dudes are the father. That's my favorite. And they're screaming about how these men have to man up. Well, first of all, these men ain't men. I mean, the good majority of them, they're not men. They don't even know how to be a man. Okay, because number one, I'll tell you the reason they don't know how to be men. Number one, they had a punk-ass father that ran out on them. And they had no positive influence in their life to show them what being a man is all about. Uh, number two, they don't have jobs. I mean, I'm going to say I've never gone without working, you know, but I went back to school. You know, it was either I was at work or I was getting educated to do a different job. But these men aren't doing any of that. You want to call them men. Most of them are douchebags. I mean, I don't even know how to even put it. They're just, they're just worthless human beings, most of them. They don't even give a damn. They, for that one girl you see them on TV with, they probably have, and then, you know, most of them have children with other women. And they're like, well, I got all these other kids. And they act like it's... Like it's no big deal. And they don't know how to be men. Okay. And a third reason they don't know how to be men is because 
I'm going to direct this directly at women. Women, you fuck that up. You fuck that up because, number one, a lot of you have raised your, you know, you're a single parent and you've raised this child without any male influence at all. So whose fault is it that most of these men don't know how to be men? It's your fault. Because it's like they can't be men if they don't have any kind of positive male role model in their life. And you can't just go around blaming, you know, their dad. It's like it's been a perpetual blame game forever. It's like, let's just stop. Let's just stop it. You know, these are these are problems that are easily solved. Number one, it's like stop having sex with all these guys. I mean, you know, if you're having sex where you have to have like three or four or five guys tested... You just a disgusting hoe. I don't give a damn what anybody says. It's like, I don't hear you made a mistake. You didn't make a mistake at that point. If you had sex with, you know, a guy and, you know, you just happen to get pregnant, that's a mistake. But if it's like three or four or five different guys and you got pregnant and you don't know who the father is, then you just a hoe. I mean, this is, there's no other way to say it. You, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. You just nasty, Okay. Um, but yeah, women, you, you fuck that up. You know, you, you can't expect a little boy to grow up, be a man. You don't have no positive male role model in their life. You know, all you do is bash men. You know, uh, you got the, uh, feminazis out there. Telling everybody how, you know, women's rights, scream about women's rights, women's rights, women's rights. Women's right to do what? What is it that you're lacking? You know, you can't play the numbers game. I don't want to hear the numbers game. I want to hear about, well, most men are like in control of companies. Most men are in control of this. It's like, well, that's a numbers game. If you're going to play a numbers game, you're going to lose, okay? It's just not using, you know logical fallacies, you know, for your argument that holds no water. It's like, if you got mostly men out there creating these ideas and creating these companies and, you know, doing all these things, then obviously if you have more men as opposed to women doing it, I mean, the outcome is going to be logical. It's like, if you have more people, you know, sorting through stuff, as opposed to less people sorting through stuff, obviously you're going to get, the, the the group that has more people is going to get more done. I mean, so I don't want to hear your argument about that. But, you know, there's simple ways that these problems can be solved. Number one, it's like just stop having sex with all these different douchebags. And they are, they're douchebags. If a man doesn't have a job, doesn't have a high school, at least a high school diploma. I mean, for crying out loud, if they don't have a high school diploma, man, don't sleep with them. Why do you want to perpetuate stupid? I mean, if they're not, if they don't have the mental fortitude to finish high school, don't sleep with them. They're douchebags. If they got all their fucking tattoos and shit all, all over them, if you, if you have to go out and get all this shit all over you to prove something, you're just a douche. I mean, I don't look at it as anything else. If you had like one tattoo or something, something that you thought was really important, fine. But you know, the dudes that are all tatted up. You know, if all you do is see them hanging out at the corner and drinking and doing drugs and whatever, it's like, don't sleep with them. You know they ain't any good. Okay? That's, that's the easy way to solve the problem right there. Number two, I mean, man, if you want to be a hoe, just get birth control. Make dudes wear condoms. It's very simple. You know, I don't know what else could be simpler. And, you know, it's just common sense. Just use common sense. Don't go out with losers and use birth control. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. 